no way. No way. Yes! Come on! That's lots more like it. Shocking, shocking. That tonight was the worst Steven Schumacher Plymouth Argyle performance I've ever seen. Ever. We were outfought. We were outplayed. We were cut open. We were found out. We were lazy. We were slow with the ball. We didn't want it enough. We were crap. We were terrible. We kept making mistakes. And Shuey didn't pick the right lineup. Adam Randall, he's one of our own. Oh, oh no! What's up guys, how are we doing? And welcome to episode eight of this season. It's Norwich at home today, and we just seriously, the first thing I need to get out there is that we seriously need to bounce back. That, not, that performance on Tuesday night was absolutely diabolical. There's no other words to it. Absolutely diabolical, that Bristol City performance. So, Shuey, the players, us fans, me, we know we need a response today. We know we need a huge response today against the Norfolk club. And it's Alex Griffin's birthday as well. So feel free to put that in the comments. Wish him happy birthday. And if you're watching this, Alex, we'll try and do you a huge favour for your birthday today by beating Norwich at home. It's not going to be easy. They have a good side. Jonathan Rowe has been on fire this season for the Canaries. They did lose 2-0 to Leicester on Wednesday night. But I'll tell you what. It's going to be a hard one today, but we just need to bounce back after that. Ah, oh. Tuesday was a disaster. We all know it was an absolute disaster. The last time we played Norwich was 2009, and they got relegated to League One that season while we survived. Then Southampton and Charlton went down, and that's the last time we played them because when we went down in 2010, they won League One, no problem at all, and went straight back up. So... That's the last time we played them in the league. So, either way, it's going to be really nervous. Um, I'm nervous and confident, obviously, like I am for every game, I guess. It's always those nerves that come into you. But either way, it's Norwich at home today. Episode 8 of the EFL Championship for Plymouth Argyle 2023-24. Round 8, big one today. We're back home, fourth home game of the season. Come on, let's bounce back. I believe in the team, the manager, the players, the fans. I've got to believe. You've got to believe, you've got to believe, you've got to believe. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Right. Let's get to the ground. And I, well, I already am because I'm at turnstiles right now. 
and then we will get to the game. <sighs> Big one today. I'm joined by Norwich fan Mark. Confident for today? How are you feeling? Yeah, I think that it's going to be a close game. Because I'm not you. confident at all yeah. after Tuesday night, even though I've got a draw. Yeah, I think that, you know, you, you'll play a stronger team today, I think. So yeah. you made a lot of changes, but I think it's going to be a tight game. Draw sure prediction. Uh, I'm going 2 1. Oh, like Mumba will score for you guys today. You think Mumba will do it against his former club? Exactly. Yeah, it always happens, enough. doesn't it? So you oh, know. I don't blame you. I don't uh, blame you. Yeah, I think that it's going to be a tight game. Is there anyone for Norwich we need to be really nervous for today? I've watched well, Jonathan Rowe all season. He's been phenomenal for yeah. you guys. Probably He'll probably start today, I guarantee. I think I would he thought. will start. Uh, I mean, we're our first choice front line of our out. So, yeah. uh, but uh, Adamida came on on uh, Wednesday night and he, he made a difference up front. So yeah. I'm hoping that he can kick on from that. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and uh, then Huang. Uh, as well playing. No, that's very game. true. Obviously, you lost 2-0 to Leicester on Wednesday night. How was the game for that? Uh, I think that, you know, it, they were the better team first half. Yeah. Uh, they were fortunate to get the penalty. Uh, okay. A bit naive from our uh, winger who came back and just ran into the back of the guy just before half time. Uh, second half, I thought that we were the better team. Uh, okay. But they were they were always very dangerous just on couldn't the finish the chances yeah, though, exactly, I take yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, so we hit the bar, we, you know, their keeper made a great save. Uh, you know, but I think that we will, you know, we won't come against up against the better team the rest of the season. No, fair season. enough. So, no, I, I've, they're, they're my favourites to win it this season. Yeah, I'd, I'd be amazed if they didn't win the league this yeah. year. So, no, fair enough. Jack Stacey at right back, he will, uh, he'll cause you problems because okay. he gets up and down and, uh, you know, I think that he can, he can cause problems. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that might, uh, if Mum was playing on the, the left, then he might have to do a bit of work coming back as no, well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for you guys, but yeah, I think that you know, we're looking quite strong. We might be a bit slow at the back because uh, you know the uh, the two centre halves aren't all aren't the fastest in the world. So. Yeah. You've got a speedy force. Is there anyone else for us you're a nervous for today? Whitaker's playing yeah. quite well for you guys. I'm looking forward to a, a tight game. I'm, I'm interested because I haven't. I've, this is my yeah, first trip to Plymouth. So, oh, is it? Oh, fair yeah. enough. How have, you, how have you found it so far? It's great. Hard to park. So, but yeah, it's uh, it's really nice. Everybody's really friendly. Oh, and, uh, it's great. It's been a it's been a good atmosphere. Oh, so that's fantastic. Fun. Where do you think Norwich will finish this season at the moment? At the moment, I think we'll probably we won't get top two. I don't think. I think. Okay. That, uh, I think we might get in the playoffs. Okay. But at the start of the season, I'd have been happy in the top ten. So Fair enough. Where cool. do you think we'll finish this season? I think that you'll probably finish. You'll stay up. I think. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, but I think you'll probably finish. Uh, 16-15 I'll take like that. that yeah I will take that so... I was just about to say I was just about to say if you put us in the bottom three this filming is ending right here <laughs> <laughs> no I don't think you will I mean there are there are definitely worse teams than Plymouth in okay team, so. yeah no I, so I feel the same at the moment I just want a better game than Tuesday because that was shocking yeah well I was surprised that your manager made all these changes no no I was surprised as well especially against uh, probably the it's our closest season. game yeah. for a derby this yeah. season in the championship that's how annoyed I was yeah so. so I can I can imagine that you know if I would have been playing Ipswich for instance 
uh, and they and, and we made some David Wagner did that. No, it'd be exactly the same, wouldn't yeah. it? So, yeah. Richard, what's it going to be today? Uh, I thought we needed bump back today. I, I got a feeling like a two 0 win. Two 0 win. Who's yeah. scoring today? Let's see Bali. Bali, yeah. Barley. But for me, it'd be nothing hardy to talk about the Dublin number one goal keeper. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's done. Definitely. Is there anyone for Norwich you nervous for today? Uh, I would have been known for Josh Sarter. But oh, you're going Josh Sarter. But, you know, but he's injured, isn't injured, he? Yeah. yeah. So, anyone other thing, I said centre back, set pizza. We may have four with a set but, but defender. That and is they a good shout. They may follow up set pizza. But hopefully, we do well and that's all we have to doubt on. No, definitely. No. Yeah. We just need a bounce back from Tuesday, don't definitely. we? Definitely. That's the main thing. And I got Dan on tour today. I'll do it myself. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no. We, Everyone, please give that a watch. Yeah. As we all know, always definitely. give that a watch, definitely. And um, a fantastic YouTuber as well. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Rich. Liam, what's it going to be today? Um, Two one night, sadly. I just don't think. <sighs> yeah, oh, well. I know. Um, if we, we got, if we, yeah, if we got a good result on Tuesday, I would have said different, but I if, I, if, 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 it's, if it's a place to be proved wrong, it's here, so That's yeah, hopefully true. I'm proved wrong. Who have you got to score today? Jonathan Rowe. Oh, you have gone yeah. Jonathan Rowe. Oh, OK. So, I, I genuinely thought you were going to back a Mumba or Hardy, but no, no that's, that's no. fair enough. Hopefully it, I'm wrong now, and yeah. hopefully it's the first time I get an argument prediction ditch among the season at home. No, I don't blame you. So, no, definitely. Come on the green. Oh, big one today. Norwich at home. We have got to bounce back after that Tuesday night disaster. Obviously, last Saturday, seven days ago, was Preston. We played well, but we couldn't finish our chances. So, I'm just hoping at least we go back to playing well today. But we want the three points. We're back home. Tuesday night was a disaster. Worst Chewy performance I've ever seen was Tuesday night. We've got to bounce back today. It's a big one. Come on, you greens. Here we go. Kickoff's underway. Oh, we shouldn't have lost it like that, but yeah. Now, kickoff's underway. It's Argyle versus Norwich at home. Come on, the boys. Eight and a half minutes gone. And that's the amount Norwich have brought today. And I'll tell you what, I'm not surprised they're singing. They were amazing in turnstiles earlier when I was in the away end for the turnstiles shift then. Good header. Mumba against his former club. Come on! Oh. Not surprisingly, I've got Mumba to score today as well. Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! That is what we needed. Whitaker gets in! Gets in! Gets in! Come on! Come on! We made that look easy. Who are you? 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 That's much more like it. And much more like it from Whitaker. Get in! He knows how to score against East Anglian clubs. Oh! Oh! Hang on, clear that, that's it, that's better. But unfortunately, we gave the ball away. <laughs> oh, free kick. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Free kick again. Oh, oh no! Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! When I say we needed a reception, this is the reception! Oh my god! Freaking get in! Who are you? Who are you? We know the drill. This is the reception we needed after Bristol. Score! And you know what? That's a brilliant goal by him as well, because that will bring him confidence. 
because he's had some rough few games lately. Fantastic from our magic man. Oh, 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 oh go! Have another shot. Oh. And now it's going all over the place. Mumbers want it back, please. It's Gibson. Oh, straight at their keeper. Offside, offside, offside. That's it. Shoots. 3 0. 3 0. Gets in. Gets in. Gets in. Gets in. Gets in. Come on. Come on. That is much more like it. Freaking 3 0. When I said again, need a response from Bristol, this is it. Hello. Oh. Absolutely getting EFL Championship. Write us off at your peril. Don't forget how good we are at home. What did I say? Played the wrong team on Tuesday night. Play our strongest team. We're so much better. Suey knows it. Brilliant first half. Amazing. It could actually be four. It's four. It's over! Jesse, look at that! It's 4 0. We are tearing Norwich apart! And I said he should have bloody started at Bristol. 4 0. We are tearing Norwich apart. They've had enough. Cheerio. Bally Mumba. He left because you're sh. That's it. That is an incredible first half. Where was that at Bristol? Where was that at Bristol City? Come on, the boys. I can't believe that. What a first half. Half time. Plymouth 4, Norwich 0. What a first half. What a first half. That is how you respond after a disastrous Tuesday night. Just up the M5. What a game. What a game so far. Can we play at home every week? Because that was exceptional. 4-0 at half time, tearing Norwich apart. Some of their some of their fans have gone already. 4-0 down at half time. We've torn them apart. There's no other explanation of that first half. Incredible. Incredible. I just all we need now, all we need now is Mumba to score against his former club and then it's perfect. And then it's perfect. And then I've got that spot on as well. And it makes it even better that I joined Turnstiles this time one year ago when we had that amazing 2-1 win over Ipswich. And what a one-year anniversary so far. And both against East Anglian clubs as well. Now we just need to hold on or score more goals and hopefully secure an amazing three points. Come on, you Greens! 4-0, like I said, what a first half. Torn Norwich apart. Again... No other words. I've told you how happy I am. Anyway, Liam Harvey, what do you make of that? Come on. Unbelievable. Now that Paul, we could win this 5-6-7-0.
Pass. In Magic. In Magic. In Magic. Magic. Um, Norwich are used to getting battered 7 0, I've seen in history as well. Yeah. Um, Whitaker has been our best player in my eyes. What a turnaround for him. What yeah. a turnaround for him. After all those missed chances against Preston, same with Dan Scott. What confidence that is for him after some poor games lately. That's what we need. That's what we need from Dan Scott, really, because he, he, that's what he can do, and that's what he can do in defence. Um, if we keep a clean sheet, that'd be great. Oh, exactly. So, yeah. I'll beat Vox. I don't know what the fuck, uh, fucking else to say, honestly. Norwich, from what I saw in that first half, I feel bad for all the Norwich fans over there. They have been. They have they've been basically been what we were on Tuesday they night. They were absolutely shocking in that yeah. first half. But honestly, we came out here today. I could tell for a minute five, we look the way better team than they did. Their attack um, lacks no threat whatsoever. Adam Ida and, I can't remember what the other striker is, that Wang guy, I think? Yeah, yeah, but it is him, yeah. They, they lack no threat. Because they got Josh Sargent and Ashley Barnes, both injured. But so far, over the top through balls for us, they, their midfield is left so open, we've capitalised on that. All goals. Amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I wouldn't be shocked though if Shuri makes it more defensive second half. I've got, well, to be honest, I would like to see Bundu at least get some minutes on the I'd just like to see so. Mumba score against his former club. This shows that we're so much better at home. We need to do the exact same Remarks way. Back home. Yeah. Um, back home. Because, because home. Can we play at home every week? I hope so. <laughs> because home. Will not be easy. Uh, no. Will we'll we'll not be easy. Okay, no. no. Um, if we finish this off, gives us good confidence going into the whole game. Oh, definitely, definitely. Brilliant first half. Let's keep it going. Come on, you greens. And that first half deserves a half-time treat. Look at that. Right, second half is underway. An amazing first half. Let's keep it that way. Come on, you greens. Green and white Barbie RB! Green and white Barbie RB! Come on! It's Finn again. And now Whitaker, five. Oh, this time Norwich have saved it. It's a Norwich corner. Well, they've kept that together. Scar. Hardy. Come on. It's five. Oh my God, it's five. It's five. Gets in. Gets in. Gets in. It's actually five nil. This is our biggest win. Oh, he's got a hat trick. Whitaker's got a hat trick. Freaking get in. Imagine we get six, like what Ipswich did to the scum last season. It'd just be saying, pleasure doing business. I just say though, fair play to the Norwich fans. They're still bouncing and chanting, even being 5-0 down. Fair play to them. Can we play you every week? Can we play you every week? Scar has been freaking amazing today. No, oh, no. Get rid of it. That's it, boys. 
That's it. Halton. Ref. Ref. That is a foul every day of the week. It's Whitaker. Finazaz. Forward. Like, you know what they'll be like there. That is so annoying that we've let one in. But it's alright, we got five. We've got like canary balloons out. That's so annoying we haven't kept a clean sheet, but it doesn't matter. Five one's a brilliant result, no matter what. Pick it up, Connor! That's it. Oh my God. On, please make it six. They've got a penalty. Hasn't done the right way as well. It's a shame Mumba didn't score today against his former club, but oh well. What a game Whitaker has had. Come on! These last few minutes have actually been a bit shaky. We've got to hold on to this win. Good block. He's one of our own! Adam Brandle, he's one of our own! Seven minutes of added time. And Gillespie's on. Great to see him back. Super Macca. Come on! Come on! Come on! Shoot! Shoot! Oh, they've kept it out. Because if we scored six, it'd be the best I'd see six since that day we got promoted against Newport.
Asi, asi, asi. Shoot, shoot. It's six, it's six. Our biggest win in ages. Come on, come on. Amazing. Score one goal six goal this afternoon, sponsored by the Sea Greens was number 28, Lucando. Hey! What a mental game of football. An absolute masterclass. I don't care if we conceded two goals. Can we please play at home every week? Come on. Referee, please blow the whistle. Please, please blow the whistle. There they are down there. Anyway, enough about those two. Come on, ref, blow the whistle. There we go. There we go. Get in. Get in. That is an amazing win. The perfect song. The perfect song. Massive three points. Massive three points. And much needed after the dip in form from Tuesday. And the wasted chances last Saturday. Da 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 da. Shuey's at the wheel, at the wheel. Shuey's at the wheel. Show us your dad's moves. What a win. I just can't seem to get enough. And it's just the perfect weather, isn't it? The, the, the way we fuck the East Anglians, it's just the perfect weather, isn't it? All right, guys, what a win. I can't get over that after the disaster of Tuesday night to bounce back like that. Anyway, more about me later on. Full-time Plymouth 6, Norwich 2. That feels like our 6-1 win over Newport back in 2017, but I never thought we'd score 6, but there we go. It's a shame that we conceded 2, but it doesn't matter. 6-2 is a... It's a 4 0 win, basically. What more can you say? A phenomenal win, a fantastic win. Neil, a Norwich fan here, make commiserations about that. How do you feel after that? Well, I like to look at it this way. We drew the second half to all. True. <laughs> we yeah, that's one thing of positive, isn't it? We were shocking. I mean, our defending was all over. The I place. can't lie, I thought you guys tonight played, today, played like how we played on Tuesday night at Bristol City. It was, it was, it was. To be honest with you, yeah. I was, I, our defending was atrocious. I mean, when you got one of the goals, Gibbs just turned his back thinking it was going out and then just let him go. Ah, just... But I feel bad, but, I do feel bad. But we sang, we chanted, we kept I'll going say, all the way I'll through. Say, five nil down, your atmosphere is incredible. Fair play to you. Most clubs well, do not do that well. at all. It's what, what I travel for, it's the atmosphere I don't blame you. more than the result. Well, Win, you're just like us, you're so far away from everywhere, so I get the feeling. I'm, I'm lucky, I live in Somerset, so oh, it's not okay. too it's not far, too far me, but I do far. lots of away games with the wife. Yeah, um, no, and enough. you know, a great atmosphere, lovely ground by the way. Really enjoyed ourselves. Take that, I'll take that. Yeah, no, it was really nice, yeah, lovely little place. We, we visited, we I think it's about it's about our 65th ground we've been to now. Oh, okay, I'll oh. so, completing yeah. the 92 then, is yeah. that the plan? Nice yeah. one. Yeah, we've got 65, we've done the 92. And we, not always to game, sometimes just to visit and enjoy yourself today because you're one game away from a 6 2 from someone. That's else. very true. We got <laughs> hole away <laughs> next week, I don't know how that's going to go. So enjoy tonight. We got hole away and next well week. Done. So you know deserve how... it. Well done, you deserve it. No hard breaks. Fist off our team, but. Despite that Bad terrible time. performance, who was your best player today, if you had to pick one? Um, I thought in the second half, I thought Forsham played well. Okay. 
Um, I thought Pancetta came on and put in loads of effort down on the, uh, well, it was their left wing, so yeah. right tomorrow. He put in a, a lot. O'Neill always does, Sarah. The defence was shocking. Gunn had a terrible day. Um, yeah. yeah, you want the Timmy Kroll back today, he was that bad. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, no, overall, you the better team won on the day, but take our positives, we scored two goals. Yeah. We drew two all in the second half. A little journey back now. Talking about Gunn, the goals were shot in, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Gunn, the shot in. He likes these dad jokes. He likes these dad jokes. He likes these dad jokes. Very good. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, we're one. We're up to. Who have, got, who have you got next week? Uh, next week, I can't remember. We're on to um, Fulham on Wednesday for the cup. Oh, you got Fulham in the cup. Yeah, confident for that. Uh, <laughs> depends what side they put out. Yeah. If Fair they enough. want to concentrate on the league and they put out their reserves, we we, we could get something. But I doubt it. Yeah. Uh, we'll go for the atmosphere. I know. I can't remember who we got next Saturday. The one after we got Coventry, we're going to okay. that one. Oh, okay. Um, so we have got a couple of games coming up, haven't we? But yeah, who have you got next week? Whole way. Which won't be easy, I'll tell you that now. I know you had the first game of the season. Yeah, we were at our place and we we won, but they're they're not a bad outfit. Birmingham at home next week. Um, How are you feeling about that at the moment? They drew 0-0 at home with QPR last night. Um, Yeah, I mean, we we, we beat them a couple of times last year. They're nothing special. Um, It all depends. If if we want to fight back from this, you know, if David Wagner gets them in the room, so come on, boys, that second half was better. I want more of that. Let's get the defence sorted. I can see us picking up three points at home. But, yeah. It's just improving <laughs> on today, basically. No, I can imagine how annoyed you must be. I, I don't blame you at all. That's a bit f***ed off. A lot of the fans booed no, honestly, at the end. We, we booed on Tuesday night at Bristol City. and we, we I, I won't That boot. was shocking I, from I Tuesday night. A, that was so much better today. I have the two philosophies when I go to games. Never leave early and never oh, boo. I agree. Never I boo agree. the team. No, if I the agree. team are, are play bad, what exactly. I'll do I'm all the I'll same. turn my back and they come off <laughs> and I ignore them, but I won't boo. I don't boo, I just go, well, that was sh-. Before the game, what was your score prediction? For today? Yeah. I uh, despite, the, despite the defeat to Leicester on Wednesday night at I home. was expecting that, to be honest. Leicester, yeah, fair Leicester, enough. Fair Leicester enough. are my tips to go up. As yeah, champions. no, all the same, all the same. They, I, you can yeah. tell from their wins against you guys in Southampton, they're just intent yeah. to go straight back up. Went to the first game of the season against Southampton, the first away game, and that was a cracking. We, oh, yeah, the 4-4, we four, four. what a result. We were robbed. The oh, second Jesus. one was yeah. never Yeah, I saw you were winning as well. Yeah. We were at Watford that day and got yeah. brilliant 0-0. Yeah. yeah. You never guess who that man is in the background there. Get on, Rod. Go on, Nigel. What do you make of that then? 6 2. Bloody stunning. Best player today? Uh, Gabby Morgan Whittaker. Oh. Tickets, he goes very, very well. Oh, 100%. How are we feeling for Hull next week away? Confident. What's the score so far? What do you think? 3 1 Hull. Come on, come on. Time worth well spent, as always. 11th in the league, much more like it. Oh, I'm so happy. We are actually a fortress. We are actually a fortress. Can we play at home every week? Oh my word, that was. What did I just see? What did I just see? That was nothing but incredible. Nothing but absolutely incredible. I'm actually about to ride past the Jack Leslie statue now. He will be so proud watching that, honestly. That was amazing. To put it that way, there he is, goodbye. There he is. Just, that was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. As you've seen, full-time, Plymouth 6, Norwich 2. That was impeccable. There is honestly no denying at all that we freaking deserved that today. We freaking deserved that today. Just incredible all around. And it's now raining, but I don't care. Ugh, just incredible. That was just incredible from what I saw from the boys today. Literally, Morgan Whitaker gets a hat trick. I know the downside is conceding two goals when 5 nil up. So it is a pain in the ass that we should have kept a clean sheet, but it doesn't matter. It honestly does not matter one bit because 6-2, 6-2 is, quint- is quite essentially a 4 nil win. It is quite essentially a 4 nil win. And... That, 
amazing result has shot us up to 13th. 13th? Shot us, that's where I've predicted us. It's shot us up to 11th in the league. 11th in the league after that. 11th in the league with a plus three goal difference. Just amazing. Just absolutely amazing. And I couldn't be prouder of the boys and Shuey after that performance. We tore Norwich apart. Norwich didn't stand a chance. We absolutely battered out class and smashed Norwich today. Norwich, Norwich today basically played like how we played on Tuesday night at Bristol City. <laughs> And we need to do more performances like that. It's just, why can't we do the same kind of performances away? I know we're going away is a lot harder than, go, than playing at home, but boy, that was special. If we keep playing like that, we should no problem finish top half of the table this season. But it's a hard league. It is a hard league. So, I mean, I've had us 13th from the get-go. Still think we will finish 13th, but honestly, no, that was special today. That was so special. And nothing more than we deserved. Norwich didn't stand a chance. They were shocking, appalling. And obviously they conceded six, so that's obviously shocking from them as well. And they were the favourites coming into today as well. Honestly, that performance from us today was absolutely outstanding. Before we conceded those two goals, actually, Dan Scar was actually my man of the match. What an incredible performance he had today. After all the criticism he's been getting lately, obviously he did not have a good performance at Bristol City at all. After all the criticism he's been getting, but he deserved that today. He's been amazing. Been absolutely amazing. Sorry about the lighting. <sighs> just had to be dark at the worst possible moment didn't it anyway um no that was so special tonight today so special and you know what the good thing is now we have now got an important october where we've got millwall swansea and sheffield wednesday all at home in october and we now know they are must wins they are must wins now after the way we've just dismantled norwich today Morgan Whitaker is easily my man of the match after today. It was Scar, but considering we did concede two, I would have to give it to Whitaker. I really would. Hat trick today. He's taken home the match ball. That was something special. I just, I couldn't be happier with that. And what confidence we can bring next week when we go to Hull, a ground that I'm not confident for us to get anything out of. Even if we get a point at Hull next week, we really are back on track. M meanwhise, where are you, Norwich? After that... Where are you? No, I'm joking. Uh, obviously, banter aside, me memes aside, they did have a shocking game today. I know they'll bounce back. David Wagner will be fuming. Absolutely furious with that. Obviously, no surprise at all. He's a former Premier League manager of Huddersfield. And I've got to give credit to the fans as well. Like, to bounce up and down, chant like that, sing as loud as you can, 5-0 down as well. That's incredible from the Norwich fans and fair play to them. Norwich was shocking. And they've got Birmingham at home next week, Fulham in the cup. They know they need to bounce back after a disastrous performance like that. As for us, we've got to be on the up now after an amazing game like that. It's whole away next week. We're away to the Tigers, and that is not going to be easy at all. Of course, they're playing Stoke tomorrow away. I don't know how that's going to go for them, but that's it. That's the spirit. Oh, what a game. What a game. What a game. So there's really nothing more I can say to that, but I guess that brings us the end to an absolute stunning episode eight this season. Ah. Oh. Bring on Hull next week. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Anyway, 
We'll see you at Hull next week. Take care, guys. Have a good one and good night. When they pull on the green, they're all janitors.